What's up guys? A few weeks ago, I got to play College Football 25 early. I dropped my video on it and there was a ton of questions. I'm gonna answer those right now. This is a great one to start with. Will it matter with conferences? Like I wanna play in the Big Ten, so I'm trying to pick a team in that conference. Do we schedule the games? It's not a very well worded question, but I know what he's saying. Conferences of college football are weird. What if you wanna play your buddy, except he's Alabama and you're Michigan? Do you have to wait until the college football playoffs or is there some way to mess with that? You can customize the schedules in Dynasty, which is nasty. So if you want to put Michigan in the MAC, you can. Or if you wanted Alabama in the Big Ten, you could do that too. I'm geeked about that. Would pump fakes actually be viable against switch stick? Absolutely. I feel like there's almost never been a reason to use pump fake in the past... 15 years. But now with Switch Stick, being able to control so many different defenders virtually at once, pump fakes are actually gonna be useful. One thing we will see a lot in College Football 25 is a huge increase in skill gap. Switch Stick, pump fakes, option, and managing other people using switch stick. You're gonna actually have to get good. For the wear and tear, does anyone know if the defense keeps hitting your knee, you have slower cutting and changing direction? So wear and tear was a little confusing. I think people were worried that with wear and tear, it was gonna be really easy to get fully injured. That's not exactly the case. Wear and tear will impact your attributes more than, you know, literally get you to break your arm and sit out for the season. So for example, if you're scrambling like crazy and taking huge hits to your legs, you're gonna have decreased speed, decreased acceleration, decreased agility as the game goes on, and even potentially in future games. For example, you hit your shoulder, your arms, you'll see a decrease in your throwing attributes. I wonder if there's going to be all-time teams. For the most part, the answer is no, but honestly, this one is not on EA. So when you're going after players that are no longer in college football, let's say a Tim Tebow Florida Gators team. You have to get the individual license for every single player. Can you imagine tracking down Florida Gators backup offensive linemen or even some of their starting offensive linemen from those seasons? It's literally possible, but it's so difficult that it's not worth anybody's time. Does Ultimate Team have a Mutt Squads mode? Yes. Can you show gameplay? A lot of people were pissed that my video didn't have gameplay. Guys, I, I can't fucking show that. I'm under NDA. If I showed gameplay, I'd get sued. No, I can't show gameplay. Are the playbooks different? It's kind of a vague question, but like my answer is yes. The playbooks will include plays that you have absolutely never seen in your life. As long as the ball hawking isn't crazy, that's a concern. Switch stick looks cool, but hopefully interceptions aren't ridiculous like Madden. I can confidently say that they are not ridiculous like Madden. And I get what he's saying. Anybody who's played Madden the last four years knows that safeties and corners, they're all prime Randy Moss. In 50-50 balls in Madden, it's actually 75-25 and it feels like 75 goes to the DB because they jump like crazy. And then you put Lurk Artist on a middle linebacker and they jump even crazier. Interceptions in this game, to me, feel the most balanced that I've played in a very long time. If you play really good coverage and you actually cover someone, you'll get your interception okay? But you can't have seven yards of separation and jump like a psycho and get the interception. So switch stick will be excellent, but you're not going to get ridiculous, unfair animations. MMG, when will you let me out of this loop of emotions? <laughs> Bro, you gotta go see a therapist. That's not on me, dog. Scotty King said, you say that about abilities now, but wait until the game cycle is halfway over. I bet it looks almost just like Mutt 24. Scotty, I'll take you up on your bet. Scotty, I bet you 10 push-ups that this game looks nothing like Mutt 24 halfway through the cycle, abilities-wise. I'll make that bet with you. So Scott, if you see this, shake hands with me. If you're wrong, I expect you to send a video of you doing 10 push-ups. And if I'm wrong, I'll do it right here on camera. Better stand on business, Scotty. If I got to deal with my wide receiver's fingers getting jammed, I swear to God, this goes along with wear and tear. I knew people would be concerned about wear and tear. It's not this insane. You're not going to break your big toe and then sit out for four games. It's not going to be like that. But if your wide receiver is going up for jump balls every play and you're getting slammed every single time, yeah, you might lose a step or two. I'm hoping they add Dynasty crossplay later. I could not agree more. I'm so upset that there is not Dynasty crossplay. And frankly, I'm so upset this game isn't on PC. I don't know when we'll get it on PC and I don't know when we'll get Dynasty crossplay, but those are so high on my wish list. And for the record, PCs are so much stronger than an Xbox Series X and a PS5. Everybody knows that. Can you imagine if you could really take these games to their full potential by like maxing out a top tier PC and running these games? Damn. At the end of the day, what people gotta remember is like, 
Madden, and I guess college football now, these are like technically casual video games. I know we don't think that, because if you're watching this video at the end of the day, you're a diehard. I know it may not feel like it, but if you're on YouTube.com watching pre-release content of a game that doesn't drop for a week, you're a diehard. And these games are made for casuals. <laughs> I know it hurts to hear out loud, but like, this ain't League of Legends, bro. This is, uh, this is football. JJ McCarthy remains the best college football player in history. I know that's not a question, but I just wanted everyone to see how delusional this man is. Madden should have a dynasty mode. That'd be sick. Playing as the Jets and winning multiple Super Bowls. Well, guess what, buddy? I've got good news for you. Madden has had franchise every single year. He is gonna be really excited. I don't have a console that can run the game. I don't have a TV or monitor. This is an elite level panhandle, if that's what you were going for. But if this is genuine, Desmond, shoot me a DM. Got you, my guy. Wear and tear is not a fatigue system. All right, Tyson. Tyson, you know I played the fucking game, right? Don't listen to this. He's an idiot. Once EA finally was under enough scrutiny for them to change, they dropped this same BS and we eat it up, but they have new uniforms. I really don't understand these comments. I'm not even gonna tell you that you're wrong, but you have not played the game. You have no fucking clue if what you're saying is correct and you're still saying it. I just don't get it. If you play the game and you still share this opinion, I'd love to hear your opinion. You haven't played the fucking game. What are you talking? How if I'm on PC, can I only play Dynasty with other PC players? Ryan, I have really bad news for you, buddy. Let's bring up the fact that on Road to Glory, they're only allowing a few positions to play. That's my only complaint. You know, I do agree with you. In the old games, you could literally be a kicker. Like, you could be a kicker funny. You could be an offensive lineman. You could be a fullback. Those experiences aren't very engaging or fun, but you should still give me the option. If I want to be a five-star guard and just pull block like a psycho every game, I really feel like I should have that option. This should it's gonna be animated as fuck. I get what you're saying, because when you play Madden, it feels like a lot of times the animation is taking over more than literal physics. You are actually wrong. I'm sorry. That's the easiest way I can answer this. It's not animated as fuck. The big reason it's not so animated is because it's not so ability driven. The abilities in Madden a lot of times dictate the animations, like deep zone KO. I've seen the same deep zone KO animation 100 plus times. They arm bar my receiver as he grabs the ball and that thing pops out like a little popcorn. There's no overpowered dominant abilities, meaning there's no overpowering dominant animations. So I'm sorry, Ty, you are wrong. Is the passing the same as Madden? No, it is not the same as Madden. Attributes are more important for your passing than ever before. For example, in Madden, you could have horrible pass ratings, but if you had an ability like inside Deadeye or pocket Deadeye, you'd still deliver a perfect pass. That is not the case here. You got lower passing attributes, you're gonna miss passes every once in a while. It's more difficult to hit that perfect pass window. And the passes operate on a meter similar to NBA 2K shooting is how you could think of it. The meter fills up. As you get that meter perfect to where you need it, you can release the football and that will impact whether you're throwing a good ball or not. Anyone who thinks this game will be any different than Madden needs a reality check. It's the commenters like this who just disappear into the ether when the game drops. Danny, you know I played it, right? Danny, you realize if I'm lying? Like if it's actually not different than Madden, when the game drops, I'm gonna look like a fucking fraud. Whatever. Can't wait for Matt to start hating the game when it comes out. <laughs> This is moderately true, dude. When I'm in Road to Glory as the same Houston Bearcats and I'm going into the shoe to take on Ohio State and they drop 40 on my head and I and I pass for 60 yards in an interception, I am gonna start hating the game. All right, yo, Trip. Shout out to Trip. We got a Kansas fan here who's asking the damn good questions. I really appreciate this. I'm not 100% sure that I can legally answer all these, so I'll do my best. Will you be able to create a two-way player? Shit! I know for a fact I can't answer this one because guess what? When I was down at EA, I asked them this exact question. And the response I got was very media trained. You know what that tells me? It tells me I think they really want to be able to do this, but I'm not sure that they can right now. That's that's my inference from the question. I can guarantee you it's on their mind. I just don't know if you'll be able to do it. What are the creative player customization drip features? Now, one thing that does get a little bit weird with this is you know how certain colleges have certain brand deals with specific brands? Like for example, Michigan State has always been Nike, at least for a long time. And Michigan has always always been Jordan. So like if you looked at a, a Michigan jersey, they've always got the Jordan logo on it. Certain smaller programs only have brand deals with like, you know, Under Armour or something. I think the team that you're with in, for example, Road to Glory is going to impact your ability to customize your player. But 
Don't quote me on that. I'm not certain on that either. Will the refs be fair? Example, Des Bryant's not a catch play that resulted in the game loss. I don't think the refs will be significantly different to anything we've seen so far. In my experience, they weren't. Will we be able to do celebration variation options and choose the celebration like Madden 24? Oh, I really don't even know if I'm supposed to say this, but dude, there is a wicked celebration system. Ah, I don't know how much I can say, but yes, the celebration system is so much better than Madden 24. So much better. Remember in Madden 24, you'd score a touchdown, you could flick it in four different directions. You could do a team Sally, a solo Sally, a signature, and dance, I think. There are way more options than that. It's a lot better. Will we be able to do impossible one-hand catches on offense and defense? Yes, literally, but you can't force them to do impossible one-hand catches. And since abilities are tuned down and the gameplay is more fair, it's not going to be what you see in Madden Ultimate Team. I know not everybody plays Madden Ultimate Team, so I'm not always giving you guys good info there, but in Madden Ultimate Team, you can get these wicked abilities where you're doing one-hand snags consistently. It's not going to be like that. Trip, you have a future in sports broadcasting, maybe sports journalism, because this is, dude, you're giving me a whole full video here. Will we have Superman throws or trick throws? So yeah, everybody has seen that clip of Patrick Mahomes doing that running, diving to the right side throw in the Madden 24 kind of like hype trailer. You know what's funny? In all the entire year of Madden 24, I literally never, ever got that animation. Frankly, I don't even know if that animation was in the game. I think that was just kind of to build hype. You might see a really cool throw animation once in a blue moon. By and large, no. Dude, look at this. Trip told me exactly how to answer them too. He said, please answer all of these day to day in your next videos, but can you answer them video to video like tomorrow Holy shit, Trip! You know what's crazy though? Trip's comment has zero likes. This is probably the most insightful, best comment I've seen the entire day. This You put so much thought to us. Trip, I'm sorry I can't answer all your questions because I don't want to get sued, but I hope I did a good job and I'm giving you that like and I'm giving you the heart too because damn dude, appreciate it. Billy Bob says, okay, you was a fanboy yelling how good Madden was. Now you're changing your mind. <laughs> what fucking video of mine did you watch? When have I ever said that, ever? This is a casual ass comment. The only reason Ultimate Team exists in College Football 25 is for EA to make money off microtransactions. I see a lot of comments like this, like this is a revolutionary opinion, duh. I get the argument across all video games that microtransactions allow companies to produce a worse product. This to me is like complaining about taxes. What are you gonna do? EA is a corporation with shareholders and they can make a criminal amount of money off of Ultimate Team. This will exist forever unless it is made illegal. I'm gonna play fucking Ultimate Team. I don't give a shit. I love Ultimate Team. But the idea that EA, a corporation, would ever consciously decide to make less money is kind of a hilarious thought to me. They will never decide to do that. Bro didn't ever play the game. Logan, I'm gonna clap your cheeks, buddy. Imagine if MMG was naked. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This dude is the biggest EA shill on here. Same shit every year. Tons and tons of microtransactions. Raymond, I'm gonna drop your entire yearly paycheck on college football ultimate team. Probably on day one. Holy shit. All right, this is gonna be our final question. So it doesn't do what older NCAA football games did. Consider me shocked. They spent millions and thousands of man hours to create cutscenes. Who cares? Traditions in college football are literally going away in the real world. Kudos to them for playing this up. It's a nice cherry on top of the same old stuff. Is the game good? Probably. Is it worth ignoring a decade of EA malfeasance and corporatism? No, this isn't 1996. We can play 989 college football from early 2000s or EA NCAA football from any year between 06 and 14 and find fun, immersive sim football that is in some ways better than 2024. NCAA 2024 isn't sick. It is marginally better and has seven layers of a well-waxed shine. Holy shit. EA doesn't care about maintaining or improving a product. They are a corporate block part of a worldwide DEI social engine engineering global regime. Holy shit. What page of the communist manifesto are you on, buddy? This is Karl Marx's son or grandson. This is the average angry Joe show viewer. Dog, play the game first. Are you kidding? Nobody's got their fucking hands on other than like 20 people. Holy shit. This is what 18 hours of Reddit a day will do to you, bro. This guy is a mod in 18 different Discord servers. CU5VR. This was either the greatest AI chat GPT rage bait or I sentence you to one hour of outside time. I take that back. I sentence you to 15 minutes of outside time. I don't want the sun to burn your skin too bad. It's gonna be quite the culture shock out there. Nobody with a brain wants to engage in suspended disbelief that is a vessel for globalist merchant dogma. 
This is, it's rage bait. There's no way somebody typed this being serious. This is AI. I just got got, didn't I? That has to be rage bait. Where's a quarter of gameplay instead of you running your mouth? Sorry, I was busy banging your mother. Your channel will be so much better without all the cussing. Sorry, I spent a lot of time with your mother. She's got a potty mouth. Okay, actually the last thing I want to address, I did a really poor job of explaining this in my first video, so I'm sorry about that. I saw a ton of comments saying the reason why the deep dives are critical of Madden is because it's a mostly different team working on College Football 25. This is partially true, but these comments have it very exaggerated to a point where it's it's not true. For example, I see a lot of comments saying entirely different dev team to Madden, or both games are published by you but have completely different dev teams, like zero crossover. I'm sorry, that's not true. There are separate developers for each game. They are not competing with each other. They definitely work together. At its core, it is football gameplay, whether that's professional or college. To make this more clear, I'll just give you a direct quote from an Electronic Arts employee. We have a central football gameplay team making very unique experiences, but also working on the core fundamentals. There's a great deal of cooperation and collaboration between the two dev teams. I feel like the comments were under the impression that these guys like didn't like each other, like actively competing with each other, not sharing information. That's not true. They absolutely hired people on to make college football awesome. I think the biggest takeaway though is this quote right here. I think the fact that we're working on college and it's going to be a big title game for us going forward is going to raise the water for both the games. So basically, college football is going to set the bar significantly higher than we've seen and Madden is going to need to match that in order to continue to be viable, right? You can't have EA making two football games where one is just outright insanely superior. That's just not a good look. So I think college football is gonna raise the standard and Madden will get better because of that. And hopefully we see a lot of the great features in college football get incorporated into Madden. So yes, I explained that poorly, I'm sorry. And there are separate devs, but the idea that these guys have zero crossover, that's just a YouTube myth that's that's not true i think i covered everything that i'm allowed to cover frankly i know you guys just want to see gameplay we're like a week away we're so 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 close i'm pretty sure i get to drop a video on the 13th i think that'll be on the main channel but um don't sue me okay um i love you guys i hope i answered all the questions that i could and um ligma sugma